Okay, we continue mesh menu and reach to the remove. Dock this menu here. For better seeing, you can change the size to the large if you want. And in this lesson, I want to explain weld and stitch and sew tools. Weld is very simple. Before selecting weld, you have to select which, uh, for example, this, this, uh, these points do you want to weld to each other. Select the weld, and if you're going to move over them, as you can see, it tells you in which part do you want to weld. For example, I want to weld in middle of them. It's weld, okay? Uh, if you want to use the weld directly, you have to hold control and then click and drag. As you can see, this point weld to that. Hold control. And then you can select just to point weld. And or before selecting the weld, you can hold in select the point with the shift and then select the weld. And as you can see, it shows you the which direction do you want to weld. For example, weld for this four exactly <clears throat> in the middle. Okay. Or if you want to hold shift and click and drag and release, it's uh, connect them in the middle of that those point that you selected. Another tool that is exactly act like the weld is a, a stitch and sew. In a stitch and sew, as you saw, as you mentioned, we, we are just go in a point mode. The weld is for welding for point mode. And here you can, for example, weld this loop here. Select the loop, select those points to the loop and weld them in the middle. As you can see, it weld just all point in the middle. For a stitch and sew, we don't need to select uh, a line before. For a stitch and sew, we have to go to the line. Okay? We have to go to the line. Select an stitch and sew. As you can see, if you select it, a line will be highlighted. You can stitch and sew this line to the this line uh, mentioned to this alignment. Exactly uh, click and drag corresponding point to the corresponding point. Okay? <clears throat> for example, this edge to exactly corresponding edge in this direction that suit to the, together. And uh, it's very useful for this situation. Here you can select, for example, this edge. Before selecting sue, you have to before select loops that you want to stitch to each other. And after that, you can use a, a stitch and sue. If you simply click and drag to corresponding release, as you can see, that polygon, that line goes to the this line. If you hold in control and click on click and drag, if you hold in control, they uh, reach the middle to each other. If you holding shift and click and drag, it does not uh, move the edges and just create a polygon in between them. It is settings very easy. You can select a visible holding element or the uh, creating on. This is important. For example, you have a line, just you want to se select a stitch and sew and weld the uh, element that you see, not behind them. Or so, as you can see, we have holding, holding control and a shift and do uh, different thing for us. Before uh, a stitch and sew, you can select or double click to the edge and select the edges. And with a, a, a stitch and sew, if you uh, hold it, oh, sorry, you can go to the, for example, point mode. If you select click and drag in a regular manner, as you can see, the point go with the stitch and sew to that point. If you holding shift and click and drag, this happen. It's create a polygon in between them like this. So it's like a bridge, you can stitch and sew the polygon line. The weld is just for a point and a stitch and sew just for the line, the edges. Okay, that's it. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now 
you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.